Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today, I'm going to be doing a business travel vlog after Brexit, travel to Europe, 1st of January 2001. So let's jump right into it. Now, according to www.gov com which is the government's website i've got uh, these fantastic facts so let's fire away there are unfortunately going to be extra requirements uh, for business travelers as well as their actions taken from all travelers and um, you will need to travel to Europe after Brexit 2021 for business travel, then um, again, you must uh, provide the additional travel documents. Um, business travel included activities such as traveling for meetings conferences providing services even with a charity and uh, touring with art or music and um, then it's still classed as a business travel unfortunately um you will have to check your professional qualifications check your professional qualifications and um, are recognized in the eu if you provide services like legal services as for insurance check whether you need an indemnity insurance for your employers or employees I just I just say and um, also if you're taking goods into the EU you need to check you have the right documentation to take goods into the EU in the first place um, also um, earning money in the in the EU you might need to tell HMRC you will be working in the EU whether you are um, and whether you're going to be again attending meetings etc or conferences and so whether you'll also need um, to pay social security contributions in the country that you are working in so again you will need to check with hmrc for that whether you need to pay any social security contributions also entry requirements and um, check um the entry requirements to each country and the rules of the country you are waiting and uh, basically um check whether you'll need a visa or a work permit uh, you may or you may not but it will be up to the individual com uh, country uh, whether you will need a visa or work permit and um, if you're traveling to the eu switzerland norway iceland Liechtenstein for less than 90 days in a 180 day period you may be able to do some things without getting a visa so that is um again and some of the pros or work permit for example going to a business meeting um you may be able to do it without getting a visa or work permit um Again, it depends on the country that you're visiting. Uh, you may need a visa or work permit or, or other documentations if you're planning to stay for longer than 90 days um, in a 180-day period or um, 
you'll be doing any of the following like transferring from the UK branch of a company uh, to a branch in a different com uh, country at contra co-op this is called contra inter co transfer that's what it's called even for a short period of time uh, say for a week or two um and um, also carrying out contracts to provide a service to a client in another country in which your employer has no presence in also uh, providing services in other con in another country as a self-employed person so um even if you're not with a firm um or um basically a contract worker or something if you're so on a self-employed basis and you're still providing services to another country and um, then again um, you will need to check whether you need a uh, visa or work permit or other documentation so um, again this is all extra to what um, a normal social tra uh, traveller needs and um, I'll also link that video down below and I'll basically uh, see you tomorrow and um, the next video is going to be the latest travel news worldwide part four so please keep wa on watching please uh, click the red and white box and also click the bell and it will give you every time I upload which is five times a week again thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow at 6 30 p.m and bye for now thank you bye